I haven't posted in a while. Oh, God. <clears throat> it's Nick here, back again with a, another video. And today, well, I got something to show y'all. Yesterday, for me, was Thanksgiving. And thinking about this, man, I got something dope yesterday. And I would just want to show this because it's going to spark off sort of a mini series. Of me pimping it out and just making it into the best dang version of itself. See how far I can, you know, pimp it out. See how good I can make this thing. So, I'm going to stop spinning because uh, otherwise I'm just going to get some brain cancer or brain tumor or some shit. So, it's been a while. I haven't posted in like eight days. Something like that. Uh, but I'm back. And today I got a video of something I got yesterday that is incredibly dope. And you know what? I'm just going to get right into it. So look at this real quick. It's a B, 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 big black box. All right. And big black boxes can have a lot of things in them. All right. Sometimes guitars, sometimes not guitars. Or other times, guitars. I don't know what else has a freaking big black box other than a guitar. Don't, so don't judge me. Shut up. My point is, is I got something to show you guys that I'm going to make a mini-series of. And I'm going to buy all sorts of attachments for to pimp it out and make it as cool as humanly possible. And this was my dad's. And this thing doesn't even have any ammo for it. Well, I practically just gave it away. It doesn't have any ammo for it. And is like 25 pushing 30 years old. Don't even make them anymore. There's the companies that made these, they don't exist anymore. They don't even make this anymore. This, in a way, is a antique that is useful. A usable antique. And I love things like that. But the thing about this is my cousin, uh, back when a whole entire divorce went down between my mom and my father, my father was planning on selling this, but my cousin came along and... <laughs> He saw this knowing how he always used to shoot it with my dad, and he told my mom how he wanted it, and he grabbed it right during the yard sale before my dad sold it off, probably to buy drugs and shit. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty sad. But my cousin grabbed it, and he knew one day that my father's son, or my mom's son, aka me, the handsome son of a bitch making this YouTube channel, is... Gonna want this in a few years. Seven years later, Thanksgiving night, I'm talking about how I don't have a single gun. And I've been screwed over, screwed out of hunting. And practically how I hate when people are rubbing their fancy ass fine guns in my face. And I don't have a single freaking gun. And how it's horse crap that I don't have a dad in my life. And I see all these other kids hunting and crap. And they get to rub it in my face. And they have their fathers and shit. <laughs> and... Those are always the snobby's brats, and I hate those kids. But last night, I got something that, oh my gosh, it's, this is incredible. Alright, so, it is a Benjamin, <laughs> literally, it is a uh, Benjamin pellet rifle. It's pushing 25, 30 years old, and it's made out of quality, alright? I have to go on Amazon and buy the ammunition for this, and it's 20 cal, so I'm gonna go on Amazon to find proper ammunition for it, I already did last night when I got it, but we are going to open this up and show it to you guys, I'm going to go on Amazon, and I'll just show you some of the things on the attachments I want to do for this thing, because this thing is incredible, it's made of real freaking quality, this is back in the time when they actually used craftsmanship and made proper materials into guns, all right, Look at that thing. Ah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm um, sorry the camera's a little bit shaky right now, but holy shit. This thing is made of real wood. Alright, and uh, I am just going to hold this thing here, because holy crap, considering its age, this thing is in incredible condition. Holy crap. This 
is a nice pellet rifle. And here's the thing, the air tank inside of this thing, this is back when they put quality into making them, okay? I want you to think about this for a second. My dad always used to hunt small game, including groundhogs, off of his back porch. The O2 tank in this thing, most pellet rifles you can pump up 10, maybe 20 times. This thing, my cousin told me stories about how they would pump it up literally a hundred times. How my dad once pumped it up a hundred times and shot and killed a groundhog with it. And the gun worked just fine afterwards. This thing is incredible. Like, this thing, he even said that my dad once pumped it up a thousand something times and shot it and it was powerful as heck. The O2 tank in this thing can under it can withstand so much pressure. It's made with quality. This is back when airsoft guns were made of real freaking quality. The other one I have in my closet, it's made out of plastic. This ain't plastic, bro. Uh, this ain't no uh, plastic horse crap. No, man. This is not no 117 cal or some shit like that. This is a 20 cal, bruh. 20 freaking cal. Real quality wooden airsoft gun all right and some quick things to point out here about this thing that i am going to make very clear that i want to upgrade is i think the stock is wonderful i love the wooden design but there's a few things that i want to make possible on here so one uh i have to get ammo for it where i'm going to get a hunting penetration proper round and i'm also going to get a diablo punch round and That'll be another video, that'll be the next video where I test this thing out, which is going to be awesome. And I can assure you, this is going to be like the greatest freaking airsoft gun ever. At the moment, she's got iron sights on her, so if we look down, we got some iron sights. And to be honest, this thing to me, man, it, it kind of, in a way... With the short nubby barrel because of the pump itself that pumps the air into it. That's where the pump is at. Because of the short nubbiness, in my opinion, I don't know, it kinda it kinda looks like a like a circumcised M1 Grand or a, a circumcised no Mosin Nagant. Like one of those classic World War II rifles. Sort of what it looks like, but circumcised. And uh <laughs> The thing is, is I don't like how nubby that barrel is, so I'm just gonna change that up, and what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna get a muzzle at the end to add, like, this much more length onto it. That way, it'll look a lot better, you know? It'll actually look, you know, not, like, nubby and weird and stocky and everything. I mean, I don't mind design of it, but me personally, I'd rather it be a little bit longer, also, the barrel itself isn't too long, so if I were to add some more barrel length onto there, that would also give more accuracy. Sort of like a shotgun, when you add more barrel length, it'll make the uh, shells and balls that are coming out of it, the little steel balls coming out of it 100 some miles an hour, it'll make them go a lot further more accurately with a longer barrel, because you're more directed down the barrel. So I'm probably going to add a little bit more of a muzzle onto the end of it, which would be really freaking cool. But then after that, I don't want to have iron sights on her. I'll use iron sights for a little while. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up and go on to Amazon. There's a $16 kit that basically I can put a special two nudges things on there that would tighten onto the top of it. And then I could put a scope onto it. So I'm thinking I get like a, a little beat up cheap scope that's not too expensive. No big deal type of scope. It's, you know, just a little one you could buy off of Amazon. Something like that. And I would pop that onto there. A muzzle for length. And after I do that, the next thing I would want to do is there's, you know, plenty of slings you can buy. <clears throat> online i'm thinking i would go online and find one of those little attachable slings that you could get onto the bottom nub right here of this thing and figure out how i'd be able to do that on the other end of it but i would want to somehow figure out a proper way to get a sling onto this thing but <sighs> with all that being said that's all that i want to do to it again scope the attachment for the ability for a scope 
the muzzle to make the barrel a little bit longer, more accurate for the gun itself, and of course a sling for it. And here's the thing, this thing is incredible. Like, oh my god, this thing is something else. Like, this is, this is a classic airsoft, I mean, not airsoft, geez, a classic pellet rifle. You know, back when they actually put quality into guns and actually gave a shit of what they're making and didn't want to sell an entirely shitty product, this is back when they actually gave a crap about making quality into all sorts of guns, whether that be a pellet rifle or a BB gun or a full-on rifle itself. And this thing... Man, I gotta say, it's incredible. I love it, to be honest. I mean, look at this, man. It's sort of like an M1 Grand in a lot of ways. Freaking thing comes out and everything cocks forward, goes down, literally. It just reminds me of an M1 Grand so much for some reason. I don't know why. And it's just, the iron sights... Man, it's just nice. Like, I just had to show this because once I get a hunter's license, I get a scope on there, proper hunting rounds, muzzle at the end of it, and a sling. Oh my god. The squirrels better go running because your boy's going to be hunting like no one's ever seen. It'll be incredible. But yeah, look forward to an upcoming series of me taking this thing and upgrading in every single way possible. And just look forward to it, because it is going to be great. I have been Nyx Gaming with a pellet rifle. And I'll see you on the next one, where I'll be upgrading this bad boy. It looks great. See you all on the next one, and uh, yeah, I'm not putting a shirt on in that one either. Just joking, I'll have a shirt on by then. But yeah. See you all then. Peace.